morning I hope you're all doing well um, I'm a bit early than usual a bit more earlier early, earlier I mean earlier um, I got myself a cup of coffee to wake up a bit and got everything ready and I thought why not go live for right now um, I put out a alert on Facebook and my story so everyone can join from there um, yeah um, the plan for today um, to start off I want to make a sapling is that a sapling yes sapling um, I'm joining quite a few challenges this month uh, I was initially planning to do um, like a, a draw every day for a whole month um, however uh, I thought that would be a bit too much I couldn't find anything else than mermaid and I am not a fan of drawing people, mermaids kind of thing, so I thought that's not really my forte, let's try and find a bunch of things. Um, so I did a lot of patterns this month, um, actually I can show you the patterns, there, they're all done now. Um, I learned a lot, I've never made a pattern before, some are better than others. Um, 
but I'm quite happy with the learning curve I made. Um, and for today, um, the planning is to make a sapling, as this is part of the shower, showers and flowers 23 art challenge. Um, it is due for next week. I like to plan ahead, work ahead, make sure everything is done and ready beforehand so there is no stress and I can actually enjoy making the art. Um, and I might do um, the week after the uh, as well, which is uh, the prompt for that week is going to be blooming. Um, the others are more fruit and uh, food and fruits and eatable things related. Um, I don't feel like throwing that today. So it's going to be sapling. I've got a quite a good idea on what I want to make. Um, and blooming, not yet. But maybe you have an idea, let me know in the comments. Um, or in chat, sorry. And you can figure it out together. I'm always open for feedback if you see I can change anything. Um, so let's hang out and make a sapling today. Also, good tip, I always try to put up a reference in uh, on my computer so I can see how things are built up, what shapes they are built out of, um, and use that to incorporate in my drawing. Um, I have noticed that if I don't, Proportions are a bit wonky or off or something is missing or I drew something differently entirely. Um, <laughs> maybe a fun fact. Um, I... Uh, oh. I made a, a field of flowers and um, when I showed it to my boyfriend, I, I painted this, so not digitally, but um, with uh, acrylic paint. And I showed it to my boyfriend and I said, look, look, I made this. I'm really proud of it. Look how beautiful the flowers are. And then he says, yeah, they're very nice. Well done. Good for you. And I said, yeah, look, they're beautiful sunflowers. And he said, no, honey, they're not sunflowers. <laughs> And I thought, well, why not? Because that, those are the colors of sunflowers. You know, you've seen sunflowers everywhere. You, you like them. You, you know what it's, what it's all about. And I never guessed I would draw a sunflower wrong. However, <laughs> I drew the petals. Oh, let's turn that off. It's my alarm for ten o'clock. Um, I drew the sunflowers red instead of yellow and I added in some browns as well and orange and I don't know what it was they they were nice flowers they were just not sunflowers <laughs> we laughed about it <laughs> very hard I left it as it was um, I wasn't too sad about it. They're still beautiful flowers. I still enjoy them. I still like them. <laughs> they were just not sunflowers. And here again. You make mistakes very easily if, if you think you know it. Because a leaf 
also has a stem of its own. There you go. There. Sketch is done and finished. Choosing colors. For me, this is kind of the difficult part. Um, I found it very difficult to choose the right colors. To make it harmonious or complementary or I don't know yesterday I made an illustration with the 6b pencil and although it takes a while for uh, uh, for it to draw in as it is a kind of small I know I can make it bigger but I can't be bothered I like the texture that it gives and uh, the white that is shining through there. I really like that. So I gave it a base color. This green. And then I will add some shading and some, um, I don't know how they call the, the lines that are on the leaves. Um, to make it more like a leaf and less like a block of color. I might add some eyes to make it more like a character, but I'm not sure how to incorporate that. Um, you already have the texture of the leaves. And you have two leaves, do you have two characters with two? 
faces or do you have like an eye in each and then the mouth on the stem but then the stem is very small decisions decisions <laughs> Mostly if I don't know what to do or if it's not very clear yet in my head, I just trust the process. I start coloring things in and um, just see where the, the drawing or the painting leads me. And most of the times it naturally comes to me and it naturally will flow and uh, I know what to do. can be a pickle too. If I have like a, a, a something like a, a drawing block or I don't know what to make or how to make it, it can be a, a very much of a struggle. Um, I think this is not right enough. better yeah there it is okay now the stem this should be a little bit more darker than Roughly, Ooh, very roughly. Now I'm gonna refine it. Make sure it looks good without the sketch on. Which means adding a bit of color here, taking it away there. try to be a bit more loose with my drawing so I can be very I don't know precise or controlling or honed in on the details um, which can be very nice I like the end results for my own well, developing my skills and my art style I like to be a bit more loosely try out new things different styles different brushes those kind of things most of the time you won't see it anyway Okay, let's refine this leaf a bit. better already. Let's turn it and then do the other sides. Not 
perfect, but there was it intent to. And I try to be okay with that. added a new layer to um, try a few things and if I don't like it I can just throw it away or delete it and if I do like it I can merge the layers together which is easier. Um, let's see if I can change the shape of this leaf a bit more. This shape better. It's more of a leafy form, and that not. Um, yeah, the other one is a leaf as well, but um, this feels more like a fresh new sapling leaf and less of a big tree new leaf. Much better. like changing the other leaf as well to uh, a shape more similar like that. Um, I'm gonna 
trim off a bit here and there. Looks a bit wonky, but trust me, we will get there. Now the other side. It kind of looks like an apple as well from this uh, point of view. I guess an apple is green as well, or can be green. I do want to make it a bit smaller. There. Maybe tilt it a bit more. your thoughts. Alright, um... Let's add some lines. change it again <laughs> which is the beauty of drawing digitally digitally di drawing digitally drawing digital <laughs> appropriate you can always change things and I guess you can do that also with paints or whatever but um, 
just found it easier or something. It's more forgiving and if you make a mistake you... Uh, I don't know, you can change it and remove it or something. Making mistakes isn't a bad thing though. I just don't like it and I don't want to be confronted with it, with it every time I look at the finished results, I guess. Right. I've got two sapling leaves, a stem, now we need some ground. Isn't that exciting? So there's quite a bit of space. It's kind of meditative, at least for me. Don't know how it is for you to watch, but. Um, I don't mind it. I prefer it sometimes though. I know you can also drag the color and fill the, the bottom half in. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I like to take my time with it. We've got time today. We've got lots of time. forget your whole drink. Every time I'm streaming I end up with a very cold tea or coffee after two hours because I forget I got myself a drink or because I'm very into the into the zone of drawing. Um, does it happen to you too? You're doing something and you're just very occupied and you forget everything around you. I like that when it happens. Although I don't like the, the cold tea and coffee. <laughs> if it's tea, I'm not too bothered. But coffee, no. I do apologize. Someone came into the house again. <laughs> Almost done with the grounds. And then we've got 
pretty much your base layer of coloring done. Um, we added a bit of texture as well with this brush. So there is something going on instead of just being a one color flat surface. Um, and now I need to tie it all together. And also do the top part of the background. But I have got an idea of it uh, for it. Just not sure if it's gonna work out, but we will figure it out in a minute. Because I have watercolor brushes as well. And if I want to make like a greeny background which will uh, be like a, a blurry forest. Um, that might be the way to do it. Or I can use cash and blur. Either or, um, I will probably make it work. I just need to find the right colors to do so. To make sure the sapling is still standing out. There will be enough contrast around it. this background out here. Brown brush from the Alpine Forest. mistaken this will then tie it all together Also try Gaussian blur. Okay. 
think I'm gonna combine those two. So soften up this a bit. Here. This one. To add a bit more of the texture and colors back in. Need some blurring. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. At least for now. I might change some. Oh, difficult, difficult. I don't like the colors of the sapling now. Uh, it's not as natural as I want it. So... This helps. Just trying things out here. So I am not too happy with how things are going at the moment. You know, this green background kind of looks like clouds. <laughs> so if we... Okay, let's try something else.
Only thing is, clouds are blue. This looks really sad. Kind of do like this though. Okay, we're going for the doomy and gloomy backgrounds. It's not gonna be a forest anymore, it's gonna be <laughs> clouds. Yes. Okay, now I have to do something with this ground stuff. start with adding some highlights. Still using the 6B pencil by the way, if you're wondering.
there. up a bit. This way it is just a tad bit minder. Uh, that less hard. And now, how about drums? An instrument everybody loves. Let's think about it. If the sun is coming from the left corner, again, we've got some light falling here.
Alright, I think this is kind of finished. Leaving it like that. Uh, I just need to add a signature. Shall I add a worm as well? Okay. I think it's gonna be a yes and a worm. Okay, maybe two worms. I can't have one set worm alone.
I think this finish it. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, let's make one more illustration. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I am debating on what to make next. Um, I said blooming, right? In the beginning. The thing is, I don't have a like an image in my head that will translate the word blooming into um, like a picture or something so i might google the word blooming and then obviously you see flowers <laughs> i could have guessed that a flower that is just about to open or has just blossomed I'm brainstorming here so bear with me for a minute while I'll figure this out I can draw a flower or hang on I started this illustration which has flowers in it is it blooming enough? start something new there um, make a flower character so I was thinking um, 
flower is going to be the head, the stem, the body, and then the leaves, the arms. Yes, okay, let's just try something. We've got the heads, Flower check, and then I was going for um, like a sexy flower. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be dancing flower. <laughs> okay, yes, this is gonna be it. Blooming it is. Mm. 
let's go for pink. You can always change it later. Apparently those work together. Okay, let's go for a yellow hat. Beautiful circle. Let's try this again. Oh wow, that looks so bright on the screen. I can assure you, it's not that bright yellow. here then <laughs> fine oh, I can't be bothered today I'll fix it later Base color established. I can add some highlights, low lights, texture things. I'm figuring it all out. Basically, it's doing the same thing over and over again, only with different colors in different illustrations. The 
that once you know the trick, it is pretty much the same. If you're wearing headphones, this song is <laughs> quite funky. They um, they use a left and right ear differentiation to add a, a playing right and then a playing right uh, on the left. Never heard that before in a song. Or I know there is a, a ASMR. Something like that. Um, I know of it. I haven't actually experienced it. Experience it. Yeah, there it is again. <laughs> That's fun. I like it. Almost. All the pedals are done.
check without the sketch. See if there are any in, in things I don't like. I want fixing. If the edges are not too bumpy or crooked. Now, for the second layer of... Uh, oh, that looks very orange too. <laughs> That's more of a salmon color. Uh, the leaves. Or maybe it's my... Um, anyway, uh, the second layer of leaves will be in somewhat of a lighter pink. There. I don't like the bright pink appropriate. Suggested I use. Go so quick. Then I only have to uh, color in the top part, so makes sense. <laughs> that is just quicker than the big leaves.
There we are. Let's check. When the sketch is off, see if we need to change anything. Liner things. Okay, looks good to me. Very um, cohesive in colors, which <laughs> which is um, still a surprise every time I uh, come to that conclusion. Okay, but now I'll have to find a green. Let's see what Procreate finds. If I say complementary colors, no, this is too blue. This works. Oop. Or at least it's working for now. Don't be afraid to borrow chord progressions, sounds, little ditties, tiny things. Just snatch them all up. That's one of the reasons why I can churn stuff out is because I don't have a problem with reusing or borrowing something that I heard. And I used to because I thought it was not original, not creative. But I, I quickly found out that I am not original or creative. I can't make up a new thing. And I very much doubt in many ways that any of the people that I listen to were the first ones to think of a particular progression. And so once you get over that, sounding good is easy. There you go. Basically, let's just copy it and just do a little changey thing and pretend, you know, like it's yours. No one will know. No one knows. The new generation now can steal everything from the older generation and pretend. Why I don't agree with this guy. Kind of is it? Stealing stuff from others, borrowing it, using it. No, let's not do that. Let's make our own things.
Be creative. Set the challenge. Go for it. Okay, so leaves have a color. Um, oh, damn it. Wrong layer. I wanted to do this separately so I can make it darker, easier, and add some shadows easier. except that they're not perfectly round and that that is not a bad thing <laughs> Chai, Chai Lotte, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you are doing well and enjoying yourself here in this stream. As we are figuring out how to give this flower some blush.
one second. We had a little bit of a discussion as we share our office together. <laughs> Which one of us is going to be on silence mode while working. Um, and so I am streaming and obviously talking. And my partner is supposed to be in a video call. <laughs> I think the brushes are good. Now let's let's add uh, some shading. if I use this one. This might work. Okay, yes. Only not the right color. Let's see if we can do the same thing. No. Uh, oh, with the pedals as well. When I use clipping mask, so I don't have to uh, erase a lot of things. Oh, that took a while. them darker in the middle as this is where the shading bit is and then add a little round circle around it too but let's start with ooh, the outer shading first Oh, hi there. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your message there, Chilata. How are you doing? Are you having a good time? Enjoying yourself? Or maybe not? It's also a possibility, of course. Thank you. Good to hear that you're good as well. I am having a lot of fun with my dancing flower here. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, we 
don't know if you were there, but we made another illustration as well. Um, we made a sapling. And in the end, I decided to make, um, or to add, sorry, um, two worms. Okay, and now the last layer of flowers needs some shading too. This might be a bit dark. It will work. This will work. Yeah, we can do. We'll just have to be careful with the pressure. Uh, as it might get too dark otherwise. nice plant for today or are you just chilling or working It's currently 2.40 here, so we should be sleeping, but this is more fun. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can imagine. Sometimes you have those days where you don't want to or can't sleep, and you're just hanging out on the stream. Yeah, I do. I do have those days as well. However, it is 11.42 here in the morning, <laughs> so where it's the middle of the night and your end of the world, <laughs> uh, it's almost lunchtime here. <laughs> but that's one of the, I think, most beautiful things about Twitch and streaming and all that, that you have like an, an international public or reach an international crowd. Um, yes, Earth is crazy, it definitely is. And you can interact with everyone, so I'm always thinking what is the best time to stream, but then there's always someone awake at some point point during the day or it's evening there and more convenient to watch so I decided to just stream when it's most convenient for me or I know I can be there every week and show up and um, and all that so yeah it's crazy <laughs> definitely Oh, hang on, we forgot the the, 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 the highlights. Uh, um, let's do that too while we're still here.
got them all. Okay, uh, let's go back to the big leaves and give them some low lines too. Oh, right layer. on the flower done. Now we need to figure out the stem and the leaves. Okay, let's start with the, the stemmy thing. Which is probably going to be the easy part. Okay, uh, the leaves. Um, using that one. It is true. Streaming does make the world seem small, and also, uh, internet in general uh, makes the world feel small. I know um, I'm not that old, but <laughs> when I was younger, uh, I remember sending an email and that was like a big thing. And now I can send a WhatsApp message or a chat message and it's there instant and people reply pretty much instant and it takes seconds. Uh, like to have a response or a conversation and people that were living far away feel close, you've got more friends around the world, um, it's easier to maintain contacts and friends with people that live abroad, um, it has a lot of opportunities but also, I don't know, uh, there's also a, a downside about it. Um, I've noticed that the world is going quicker and faster and um, like the other day when it was Easter uh, my partner and I were riding our bike and uh, in our little town and we, there was no one at the streets, no one, which doesn't happen anymore. Everyone is busy doing their things and uh, always in a rush and do, do the 
the normal day-to-day -day things and it was just quiet. Almost like a ghost town or something. Um, it was very surreal but nice at the same time. To have like a, a certain point in time where you feel like the world is stopping for a moment and they're enjoying time with their friends and family and loved ones. Instead of just running around. Uh, doing the normal day-to-day -day things. I don't know if you recognize any of that. Maybe not uh, riding the bicycle. <laughs> That's a very Dutch thing to, to do though. Oh, great. You're you recognize that, yeah. It's odd though. That one little thing has so much impact on the world. thing being the internet. Yeah. This looks surprisingly good. I <laughs> wasn't expecting it at all. Um. That, that doesn't work. Uh. It doesn't. Okay, there. Uh, for the background. Oh, oh hang on. Uh, I live in San Francisco area, so everything here is just tech central. <laughs> okay, yeah, you do know what I mean. <laughs> uh, seeing all, all the advisements just fly out to make it feel so normal but it's really a natural true yes definitely true there are so many uh, changes in technology like every day there's something new there's something better and um, you need to keep up with it otherwise you are lost in a world of technology that you just don't understand anymore um, but then that's the like kind of a downside about it but th this technology the same technology um, is also helping a lot of people with like treatment for diseases or research for the things like all the things in the world the nature as well discovering more and more about the world and what we should do and shouldn't do and I feel there is like we're on this path of change where people are more open to listening about what is natural and what isn't and try to uh, incorporate the natural a bit more it's, it's not as far incorporated as I would want to, but um, nature is a, at least a subject on the agenda now, instead of development and advanced things that are just coming out. I don't know how to say that, but I think you get the gesture. Let's 
try making a background again. Liking this color. Not too bad. Okay. Let's add our signature. See if this is gonna help it or just not. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, what do you think? With the overlay or without the overlay. Yeah. It has quite a lot of texture of its own. I think this is too dark, so it might be color burn or linger burn. Uh, hang on, if we choose this and then the opacity. This could work. But I miss one more thing. Thanks. Okay, we leave it like that. Uh, but... Got to add some shading here. Mm. 
This way the eyes will pop out a bit more. There. Okay. Finished. Um, this is also gonna be the end of the stream. Um, I hope you have a, a good night of sleep, Chilata. When you do find the rest to sleep. Yellow Ingeluk? Is that how you pronounce it? Thank you for the follow. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, feel free to join in um, next time. I do stream in the morning, so it might be in the middle of the night for you again. Um, however, I also have an Instagram account, uh, uh, KFV Art. Um, where I will put a notification in my stream. Uh, if you are interested and if I do end like another stream in the afternoon or late in the evening, I will let you know there. Um, thank you all for hanging out and um, I hope you have a very good rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is at your end of the world.